So today I'm uh, with one of the guys. I'm a picture this kind of act. Uh, me personally, in 2016, I was new in Nairobi and uh, I was conned up to 23,000 Kenyan shillings, around uh, 20, 20 to 23,000 shillings. So, I was in Tomboya Street. Then these guys come to me, Yo, are you using Safaricom line? Then on we have people from Safaricom, but if you see them, they don't even wear Safaricom stuff. So after you, you are kind of can be a choose four numbers, then they tell you, pick this one, you've won this, you've won a laptop and uh, four phones. So in order to get your laptop and four phones, you need to pay 22,000. Yeah. After Kulipa EV, can I for now, what, what can you choose between a laptop and a, uh, a laptop worth 83,000? And the cash. Obviously, we'll go for the cash. So, you can cash. And you can say, my cash money, you can leave your number. So, in that time, uh, my mind was not functioning. For sure, guys, I was not. Nikama nilikuwa out of my mind. Then later, I was told that in Nairobi, they use uh, some kind of uh, spell. Kuna cult. These adverts you see, Nganga kutoka wapi. These things are reality. So, but I, I came to uh, I came back to my mind the phones that they gave me were just cheap phones they are not functioning as in a uh, internet and all that but that time they were giving me I was out of my mind so today I'm with another person I want him to share his story to onekama this thing we weigh is it a reality or is it just something that people are saying so he will introduce himself and because of privacy we won't show his face Okay, my story to our first time listener, it might seem like a joke, but this is truly what happened to me. Same as the, my friend has said, uh, I was new in 2016 in Nairobi. I was just walking in town, just minding my business. Then suddenly a random dude walks up to me and tells me that, okay, he has won some cash. He came to me with something which looks like, you, see, you know this, these things which look like scratch cards which indicate that somebody maybe has won something so he comes up to me with that thing he tells me he has won such amount of cash and when i looked at it it really looks like it seemed so real i don't know i don't know but it seems so real so i just decided to help the guy because the guy told me why don't you be the one to go pick for me the money because i can't go there are some people who are after me so i say okay let me do this as I was agreeing to that, the guy told me, why don't you leave me something that can be like an assurance that you will come back when you want to this. So, I don't, I, don't, I don't just know what happened. I just found myself giving him my tablet and my phone at the same time. Now, after giving him my phone and my tablet, I just don't, I, I didn't know what was happening during the, the time I was giving him the phone and the tablet. But after that, it's when I realized, how come I've given my phone and tablet to this person and yet I don't know him? So, before I realized it, the person was gone. So, this thing is real. There is, when you are walking in town, you should be very careful. I'm talking about experience now. It's serious. So, you've heard one of the person who says that uh, he's on tablet or his his tablet was stolen in town later and they kind of realize that he can use so we'll talk with other people we'll talk with around uh, like five different guys to see if the other people think this thing is reality then uh, we'll also talk to pastors and we'll talk to uh, priests or church leaders to hear from their view so let's go bye bye Is it a good idea? Or is it a good idea? 
Hello, yes. Anime Fika. Apa Nairobi.